Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors and Turkey Trippin' 2022. We pick this up with me having just shot at a bird and that bird flew away. So this was my follow-up actions after that and then we'll discuss um, what happened that I can see in the video as I'm editing this two weeks ago. So I'm trying to do my due diligence here. I was I shot from up here. He flew across somewhere in here so i'm going through and checking these drainages to make sure just in case he went down when i couldn't see him and the only thing i know that happened was the first time i tried to shoot my safety was still on and so then after that i probably panicked and just made a terrible shot bottom line is i made a lousy shot execution executed the shot poorly so now I'm doing, trying to do a little due diligence and just make sure he didn't come this way and fall out of sight. I've already been further in that direction in that drainage right there. So I'm just trying to make sure by checking these guys. It's so open in here. Even that stuff, it looks real thick. But once you kind of just zigzag through it real quick, you can see through it. Once you're close into it, get the sun at your back, the... Uh, the, the glean off the glisten off of those leaves isn't so bad you can really see well through that junk but I don't have feathers at the shot site I don't have anything there so I'm thinking I missed but we're gonna give this another good look when look down this one look down look through all this junk and then tonight on my way out I'll hit this one more other ravine right over here and see if maybe down in there I'll kind of walk out the car is in that direction actually and I'll kind of do a little zigzag on the way out to look around painful 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 and it's all me you got to eat that all you I gotta eat that it's terrible the onyx app I use the tracker to uh, show where I've been so you can see where you searched and where you haven't now I'm gonna go back and get about where he was and then put draw a line in about his uh, direction of flight so that I can extend my search a little further because once he came off of this top side where I was, and that's my decoy, right? Where is that? Right, I think it's right in there. No, right there. Um, he kind of flew that way, so I just may need to extend my search out that way and kind of draw a straight line and then kind of zigzag through it or find those key terrain features like some of these drainages search the top of the little ridge and then search each side of the drainage kind of along that path a little bit and then probably downhill as well down the drainages a little bit in case in case he crashed and decides he's gonna to try to go down the hill I think like you gotta I gotta burn a little bit of effort a little bit of shoe leather since I pulled the trigger and messed up I should have a dead bird right there but the only thing I know is he was inside 20 yards I failed to take the safety off in time and then when I tried to shoot him the safety was on so I'd take it off real quick so I probably messed up my sights then and then executed a terrible shot and I didn't have mouth call in so I had to make a goofy noise at him I should have put a mouth call in the minute I saw it so at least I could cluck, make them stop like that. After having drawn my line on Onyx, so I need to make sure I search. Oh, I'm falling. 
these kinds of things. I'm trying to be optimistic that either he's dead and I'm going to find him, or that he's perfectly okay, other than a good startle. As I see the bird come in, and I had plenty of time from the time I saw it way out there to the time it got here, I did two things poorly that set me up for this situation. One is I never put in my mouth call. Did that in Tennessee as well. Two, I didn't take my safety off in time or at all, just the same way I did in Tennessee. So when I try to stop him to take a shot, I have to just make noise with my mouth, which then puts him on alert because it doesn't sound like a turkey. Then I try to shoot him, my gun's on safe. So nothing happens. So now I got to start to panic, take, take it off safe, and make a shot. And then I end up hitting three different chunks of wood on my way to that bird. So I take a nice chunk out of this diagonal piece. I completely split this one in half and I break the end off of this one. So frame by frame, boom. I hit all kinds of stuff. I diagnosed this pretty well in real time as I showed this part in the last video. I was trying to steer through this garbage right here. You can see I hit this, I hit this. I think I broke that off. He got right there. And that was completely accurate. So nothing happened the rest of the day. The next morning, Buck and I were up and we're gonna get up on top of the flat where those birds were strutting the previous day and up on the flat where I just missed that bird. There's not much cover up there, so we're up against this log and it is a cold, windy morning. After a good chunk of time, we decided we're going to go off of the flat and go down to where we had seen birds before. And as Buck is sliding through this little drainage, he sees a bird. He's going to creep up and try to get hidden right here amongst this down log in this tree. I'm going to start calling from behind him. I'm going to start casting my calls back up the hill. Then I'm going to go back up the hill and start calling from up top to hopefully lure that bird toward Buck. There's a turkey over here that's just out of range and I'm trying to pull him through Buck. So far it hasn't worked. Right now I'm trying to act like a hand moving further away from that guy. That might bring him up. Then that bird disappeared, so we started going in and tried to look for him and thought he might be in one of these deep drainages. Well, this is the area my bird that I missed yesterday flew over. And this is where that bird was when we came down the hill just now. So I have a feeling that that's that bird and that this is kind of his home territory. That's what I'm hoping, so I, I 
think that bird is good to go. We lost him though. He disappeared somewhere. Now we just tried to get aggressive and move on him. But... He's gone. Eventually we head out and we're going to get back to the car. White tail. That's a white tail? Yeah. That big? Yeah. It's a little chewed up. It's probably a last year's shed. We pack up all our stuff, we pack up camp because there is a massive front coming through that we've been in some bad wind here and some bad weather, but this is supposed to be quite obnoxious. So we're going down to Kansas. I hope you join us down there, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down there, and as always, thanks for watching.